League of Northern Virginia, I have been privileged to work with the Children's Science Center. Children's Science Center just opened their space in Fairax Mall. Um, prior to that, they were um, doing what they call the Museum Without Walls, and I was a volunteer with that. So we go into the community either through big science fairs, or we're into libraries, or science nights, and we host this gigantic science fair for kids ages like first grade through eighth grade, and it's in the evenings, and we target a lot of Title I schools, so this is a, an opportunity for parents and kids who wouldn't otherwise have an opportunity to be interacting with science or engineering or STEM of any time to come in and participate. It's hands-on and it's great. But one of the best things is seeing when the kids actually get the concepts, the light bulb goes off and their, their whole body language changes, and when the parents get involved, it's just that much more rewarding. When I got with Hoot Dreams and I saw the desire that these kids had to go to school, but I also saw that they just I saw the numbers and the statistics of how many people didn't go to school because they just didn't know it was heartbreaking to me. And so in working with Hoop Dreams and actually helping these kids and giving, that, giving them that support, they just needed a little boost. It wasn't that they were bad kids, it wasn't that they weren't motivated, it wasn't that they were lazy, it was just that they just didn't know. And we went through the process from September all the way to June applying and I would help tutor her, I would um, give her information about schools, we would meet up and we would be in different areas outside of what she was accustomed to in her neighborhood just to show her other things that were just in the same city that she was living in. She just didn't venture out to see. She got accepted into a university. She was excited to go. She was going to get out of D.C. She was going to go to college. And literally, what, five years later, I stayed in touch with her. Five years later, she was like, hey, you're graduating to come? And I was like, yeah, of course I'm coming. And she graduated with her degree. I got very involved with the American Cancer Society. Um, I lost my grandmother to breast cancer at the age of, she was 55, so I was very young. And my mom actually had breast cancer last year, and so it's, it's something I'm very involved with. I joined the Junior League here and quickly became more and more involved in the Junior League here. Junior League has an awesome mission. We, um, do, we sponsor volunteers across the community, and one of the biggest benefits that the, the League provides the community is that we provide targeted volunteers for organizations throughout the throughout the DC area. Um, I got very involved with volunteering in homeless shelters and especially in Columbus, Ohio we have a big Somali refugee population and they were having trouble learning English and um, getting involved in schools and so I helped create um, a donation package for learning English so it was like children's books, high school books, and just general textbooks to these different homeless shelters and then help implemented some curriculum within the homeless shelters to teach the children and the mothers English so that they were able to better um, get involved in schools and also get jobs within the U.S. With my passion for veterans causes, um, we've actually become involved in helping student veterans at the University of Maryland. My husband and I started an endowment um, for undergraduate student veterans and we also help with University of Maryland in terms of championing causes for veterans across the country. One of the most compelling um, volunteer activities that I have been involved in was around veterans uh, care and it was several years ago um, I championed the support for Booz Allen Hamilton um, in the um, Winter Sports Clinic. And this is a clinic that's held every year in Snowmass, Colorado. And it is um, basically chaired by the Department of Veterans Affairs and the Disabled American Veterans Association. And basically this is a, a event that brings in hundreds of disabled veterans and it is just such a compelling um, event to be a part of. My passion for volunteerism started again uh, at a very, very early age. It's something I continue to uh, nurture uh, just by allowing myself the time to give back uh, and uh, also by allowing myself to impart this passion onto my children and my family. Uh, we've done that through um, our support to various homeless organizations. Uh, we've done that through Habitat to Humanity. I've done that as a Rotarian. My family supports Good Shepherd Housing and New Hope Housing. This is not just providing shelter for uh, families and individuals, but actually helping them uh, re-enter uh, the workforce. This is uh, an organization that I'm very, very passionate about. I've always been in, in the defense industry and helping our warfighters and, and showing that great appreciation for the sacrifices that they've made 
Boulder Crest retreat is unique because it actually focuses on family healing. So not just that individual um, and their particular, you know, visible and invisible wounds, but helping them have an opportunity to spend time, quality time with their family in a relaxed retreat environment.